My name is Fred and in this video I'll use the CAS possibility to compute problems with triangles. At first I'll start off with a very simple one where the angle C is 90 degrees and you've got two sides. I've already prepared here with two sides A and B. Now I'll start off by showing the axes so I know where I am. Maybe I can move them a little bit. Like that and move my task here. So I'll start off by making the point C equal to zero comma zero. That's it. Then I can make the next point, the point B, is equal to and that should be A comma zero. Like that. And then the point A is equal to zero comma b like that then in fact I don't use or need my axes anymore so I could just take them away I've got the three points now I could make the triangle but I'll wait a little while because I want to do some computation first I want to compute c equal to square root of a squared plus b squared. That is. Then I want to compute the A angle. Now I already got into problems because I've used the letter A for the point and I cannot reuse that letter. So I'll make a different name, the A angles. And I want the numerical solutions of an equation and that should be that the sine to my something a1 I could call it and then I put have to put in degrees is equal to and that should be a divided by c and the variable a1 will have a starting value here and that is 41 degrees so I get the an uh, angle A to be 36.87. The B goes in the same way, so I'll just copy it, put it down there, write B, and then I'll make it a B, and a B, and it should be a small B here and then I have the other angle here. Now I'll make the drawing from A to C to B and back to A. Here I have a triangle. And I get kind of the right letters on them. But again, my A, B and C, they were used up, so they couldn't be used here. I want to know the distances of those, that one, and that one, and that one, just to check that I'm right. And maybe I even want to make them red, just to show that they are given as part of the problem. Not that one. Well, it is red again. Well, I got my hope polygon rate, I don't want that. That was some uh, brownies, I believe. Now, the side there should be red. Come on. <sighs> Here it goes. Optic properties. That one should be black. Thank you. I missed my angle here because I didn't have my arrow. Object properties, red, thank you. And that one, object properties, red, thank you. And that one, properties, red. And there it is. I can move them out a little bit if I feel that is better. 
I could measure as well the distances, the sides, I could measure the angles. I'll do that here by A and by B. I hope this is the right way around. Yes. And again I can move them in a little to feel that is better. And I can see I get the same solution as before. Now I only have to put the results in here. So solutions are side C. And what is that? Well actually it's C1. So when I find the object here, I'll have to use C1. Well I could use C, it's the same number, doesn't matter. That is the angles A well that is equal to the A angle. That is a angle B that is equal to the B angle. Okay. So here I've got results in some fashion, some way. I dislike a little bit that this is a list with brackets around it, but okay. You can get around it, but I won't bother here. So this is the first problem. I do feel that this is a little bit too complex for students to make themselves. So when I get into problems with triangles, I present them with four different possibilities that are already made. And they should recognize that all triangle problems can be put into one of those four possibilities. And here is the first situation. The first situation is where you've got the three sides, here marked by red, and you've got the angles to find, and maybe the area, I don't know. Anyhow, here you can see the formulas that is used. This is dynamic in the sense that if you change that one to 5, you'll get a triangle and two of the angles, of course, are equal when two of the sides are equal. If you make it to 15, you'll get into problems because there's no solution. I'll just go back again because otherwise I'll get away and miss my text, etc. So uh, I'll just stay into possible solutions, 3.8, whatever you put in, you'll have the solutions. And that is the situation where you have three angles given, uh, three sides given and compute three angles. Wave that one. Here you have a side, you have two angles and the side between them. If you have two angles, you can will sometimes have the other angle, but then you can easily compute the third angle, and so it will be the two angles and the side in between. And again, you have to do some computation to get the other numbers, and I've shown here how to do that. And whenever you have a problem like that, you will just work here and tell them, well, I want that one. And again, we can make one of the recognizable problems, like this one. And B could be 5. Something like that. So, this is the way I would teach how to solve problems with triangles. And that ends this video.